Good afternoon. Good after Saturday afternoon, YTPC. How are we all doing? Hope everybody's okay. <clears throat> Full of the joys of the weekend. Right, before we get to get cracking, a little bit of housekeeping. I'm smoking a little HS Studio, Hong Kong Studio uh, Reverse Calabash. <clears throat> Great little pipes, affordable and uh, very underrated in my opinion a great range of pipes made in the far east go check them out and in it i'm smoking Original Flake, formerly known as Walnut Flake. Now, this is a, new, a relatively new blend to me, um, over the counter in the UK. Uh, one of the uh, <clears throat> the only ones, one of the few that I hadn't uh, tried. Well, actually, the only other one that I haven't tried is uh, is Gold Block, but apparently that's crap, so we won't talk about that. Um, and it uh, uh, was a bit of a wow blend for me this is really really nice really tasty uh, it's a bit like smoking dundee cake the way i would describe it very rich gorgeous not too strong um, and ticks all the boxes and unfortunately it's not uh, not available in bulk but there we go okay Um, I'm a member of the Pipe Club of London and every year, <coughs> as quite a few uh, pipe clubs do, uh, we have <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> we have a club pipe made for us. Um, the chairman John Green and President uh, Bernard Allerty um, get their heads together and decide who is going to make uh, the following year's club pipe it's towards the, the end of the year um, and over the years we've had Millville, Peterson, uh, Blakemar Briars, Northern Briars, uh, Mastro de Pire uh, to name but a few um, and this year um, Bernard and John have been over to France to St Claude that gives you a little bit of a clue as to uh, the 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 maker of this year's club pipe um, allegedly one of the oldest briar manufacturers in the world <coughs> <coughs> I do apologize <coughs> I'll, have a, I'll have a swig of Rosie Lee um, and here it is yeah, you've all guessed right, Shakam. And the shape, certainly a, a new one on me, is a squat bulldog. I've had all sorts of issues with getting this thing to work. Uh, to focus and I don't know why it isn't sometimes it focuses really hit and miss on the on the focus but as you can see it's a gorgeous looking pipe with a silver band diamond shank uh, it's actually surprisingly light as well quite a shallow bowl Yay, there we go. Uh, quite a shallow bowl. And I've been talking with some of my 
pipe smoking buddies and that have had this pipe and certainly pipes that are similar and we've all agreed that we will be smoking strong plugs or flakes in it um, just because of the size of the bowl really I'm not uh, uh, I, there are limits to what I can take uh, nicotine wise maybe um, anything stronger anything strong twist stronger flakes 1792 maybe from from Sam Goweth I'm just going to show you um, this is a filter or non filter pipe it has an adapter in it personally I'm not fussed about filter so I'll use it with the with the adapter in uh, if we can hopefully it'll focus on the on the writing there we go Pipe Club of London 2021 um, as I say previous pipes that we've had have been made by Mastro de Paya, um, the 50th anniversary pipe I showed you the other day. And uh, this is the pipe for, for 2021. It really is an absolutely gorgeous little pipe. And uh, John, um, Bernard and Chacom have knocked it out of the park, um, as they always do. Uh, and that's all I was going to show you really guys um, as I say I hope everybody's well um, I should get back to my my walnut flake a few more things happening this week so there'll be uh, an update or two I've got uh, another pipe on the way from Italy I didn't intend to buy another pipe I'm trying to cut back a little bit um, but uh, the dreaded eBay um, did its magic again um, and should get a, a, a delivery or two of, uh, of back here as well um, so I'll report back on that anyway hope you've enjoyed looking at uh, our new Pico club pipe have a great weekend guys and stay safe and I'll be back <laughs>